hello good evening ladies and gentlemen good morning good afternoon i want to say something about stephanie otobo apostle john c suleiman and also gd i was privileged to watch gd make a video and uh, according to chidi in that video chidi said uh, before stephanie otobo left canada that uh, stephanie otobo was being prayed with that they hold their hands together in chain prayer she he called it chain prayer to pray that uh, where he's going to will be successful and two, he said some pastors called to pray with her. <laughs> Chidi. <laughs> okay. Chidi, some pastors called to pray with her. What were they praying? To disgrace the man of God, Apostle John C. Suleiman, so that when she come to Nigeria, she'll be victorious. Oh, everybody in Omega Fire Ministry will leave. Two, does that mean God did not answer your prayer, Chidi? And he did not answer the men of God that called. If that is true, that means, um, I think it's not the God that we know you people pray to. Because Stephen Otobo came back to Nigeria and all the spares, every people we're using on her cleared from her eyes. And now you people are crying, you people are grumbling. You people have to release the video she made. Why did you people not release the video then? So that we can watch it. So, looking for the sponsor of Stephanie Otobo, it's not far. Chidi, you say some pastor called, we're praying. It's part of sponsoring her. You people we are sponsoring her in prayers. And if you people said Stephanie Otobo was paid, does that mean you guys could not feed her anymore? Could not give her money? Because the last time I remember we talked, you said, oh, she had everything she needs. Money is not a problem. Nobody is paying her to blackmail her pastor, Josie Suleiman. She's, she's just trying to express what happened to her. And now you are saying that Stephanie Otobo is being paid by Apostle John C. Suleiman. Chidi, I think I'll put it to you that you know the sponsors and you are part of the sponsors because you said you kept him, you kept her in your house. You were feeding her, giving her everything. Finally, Chidi, you guys said Wotobo was living with you, but she almost committed suicide. She wanted to commit suicide because it was why would she not commit suicide is do you think you just wake up and lie upon a man of god did you know how many people that is being that that, that, that be praying for this case is enough to commit suicide and those of you who don't want to remove your hand and those of you who are making rubbish video very soon before your family you take rope and commit suicide the oracle has spoken my name is pastor casey Chukurisha jaffa i'm out of here chidi you know the truth